from the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, we'll continue to see high heat into the weekend as high pressure stays in charge, but eventually this ridge of high pressure will drift far enough to the west to open up the door for this upper level trough to dig down into the southeastern U.S., down to the Gulf Coast, and hopefully guide any tropical system well east of Louisiana. Not that we want to wish anything on anybody, but Florida under the gun in the U.S. for this next tropical system. This upper level low is helping to uh, scoot uh, uh, Fiona off to the north and will interact with Fiona. It looks like a messy situation for our friends in the Canadian provinces. But again, this ridge of high pressure dominating and that's going to keep us hot into the weekend. Mid 90s, it looks like through Monday, even though the front gets here Monday, the cooling effects don't get here till about Tuesday. And thereafter, it looks like smooth sailing. So fair skies across the area. We actually did see one or two pop up storms down near the coast and we'll probably see a few more tomorrow. But overall, a dry forecast while the tropics stay busy. A medium chance of this system developing, but on the other side of the Atlantic, this one 30%. We have Gaston still holding on with 65 mile per hour winds. Major Hurricane Fiona, more on that in a second. And then uh, Tropical Disturbance Invest 98L. 90% 90 chance of developing next two days to five days. Could be Hermine or Ian, depending on which system uh, fires up first, but notice we see some convection going here uh, late this evening. Meanwhile, Bermuda bracing for hurricane conditions this evening and overnight tonight as Fiona continues to stay a Category 4 storm, 130 mile per hour winds. Very unusual to have such low pressure at such a high uh, latitude. So this is a big storm with a big wind field, so Bermuda going to get a big blow overnight tonight, ending tomorrow and then the Canadian Maritimes, including uh, portions of Nova Scotia. Uh, it's still going to be a Category 3 style storm, but it won't be tropical, kind of like what Hurricane Sandy was. Big wind field, so the Canadian province is going to get hit very hard. St. Lawrence Seaway as well is going to have a storm surge. It's just going to be a mess up there uh, as we head into the weekend. Meanwhile, our disturbance getting a little bit better organized tonight. At least we see storms firing up near the center of what could be a low-pressure circulation that could be just a little bit west of where this L is printed out right here. Uh, but we have that northeasterly and northerly shear, so this is not still quite organized, but the shear relaxes overnight tonight through tomorrow. And as the system works westward, it's going to be in a lower shear environment and then get into an environment for uh, perhaps some very quick deepening and a rapid intensification. And new tonight, as we showed you a little bit earlier, their spaghetti plots are not as wide, not showing as much coming by the Yucatan. 10, mostly eastern Gulf of Mexico and Florida. So if I lived in Florida anywhere from the Panhandle down to the Keys, I'd be preparing for a hurricane uh, sometime along about Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday of next week. And the storm is going to go over a super high uh, oceanic heat content that uh, you have 80 degree temperatures down 500 feet in this general area. So a lot of heat. So that's why this could become an explosive system, perhaps a category three or four storm uh, very easily. It looks to get cooking right around, uh, we'll say, near Jamaica. And it's going to depend on land interactions with Cuba. But nonetheless, this is the Euro model. Has a storm threatening the Keys as early as Tuesday morning and then through South Florida Tuesday afternoon and then out into the open Atlantic on Wednesday. Timing different with the GFS, a little bit slower, but nonetheless, potent storm and new. Uh, the GFS earlier today was uh, toward, uh, say, Alabama or the western Florida panhandle. Tonight, it's more toward the... Uh, say the eastern part of the panhandle and certainly the peninsula in play and I would favor the uh, some model in between the GFS and the European model so uh, it's going to be rough for our friends to the east but us we are looking good fair skies overnight tonight might see a pop-up shower down along the coast tomorrow afternoon that's why we'll keep 10 percent in the forecast much the same for Saturday a few more clouds Saturday still in the mid 90s and then we get into Sunday we see our frontal boundary working its way southward with scattered storms going into Sunday afternoon uh, boosted the rain chances Sunday to about 30% for right now. 73-74 overnight tonight. It's officially fall. Not much fall in the air, but we got it in the 10-day forecast. Tomorrow we'll get up to 96 for a high with mostly sunny skies and an isolated shower near the coast possible, but by and large a quiet day. Much the same for Saturday as we go deeper into the weekend. There's your rain chances. Here's the blue triangles in the front and some October-like temperatures. Highs and 
in the mid 80s, mid to late next week. And more importantly, look at those lows, upper 50s to lower 60s. Enjoy. That's it for weather for right now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.